What's up guys, it's Tommy here and welcome to a brand new Liverpool transfer news video and we have to talk about the Trent Arxolano, the transfer rumor situation because Fabrizio Mano said that Bellingham is trying to convince Trent Arxolano to sign for Real Madrid, trying to give him all the big points of why Real Madrid are so appealing and the Sky Sports are reporting that some newspapers have indicated that Liverpool star Trent Arxolano is interested in signing for Real Madrid this summer but digging deeply into this story that is not really the case Trent Oxano doesn't openly want to sign Real Madrid but he gave an ultimatum to Liverpool basically saying how Liverpool act in the transfer market how our season goes and Trent Oxano will evaluate his situation during the season before signing a new contract and this is now very dangerous territory for Liverpool we should have extended Trent Oxano's contract last summer when he had two years left but last summer maybe Jurgen Klopp couldn't sit down with Trent Oxlade-Arnold and tell him honestly that he is going to stay at Liverpool for many years to come but I think Liverpool made a big mistake not extending the contracts of Van Dijk, Trent and Mo Salah because now with so much uncertainty surrounding Liverpool with how Arnold will get on in his first season you know Liverpool face a difficult task on, of extending all of these superstars contracts and of course Trent Oxlade-Arnold is the poster boy of Liverpool we want him to stay and even in 2018 he said that he wants to stay for life at Liverpool but with Real Madrid building a super uh, star team a world 11 basically it's of course very very difficult to turn them down and Trent has risen through the Liverpool Youth Academy he already made 300 appearances for Liverpool he's already a club legend and according to a new report in the Independent Trent is planning to see how things go at Liverpool this season before deciding what to do next and he is very highly rated and admired by Real Madrid who could make a move for him if he does decide to move on the worst case scenario is Liverpool losing Trent Oxlade-Arnold on a free transfer because we would lose a player who is worth 100 150 million he's the best right back in the world even though his market value is around 70 80 million I think to Liverpool he's worth a lot more and the report goes on to outline how Trent Oxlade-Arnold's close relationship relationship with Jude Bellingham has led some to question whether or not Trent would like to see uh, him play for Real Madrid, see himself play for Real Madrid or whether he wants to stay at Liverpool and commit to his long-term future. And I think Liverpool need to give him a monster contract of at least £250,000 per week to really convince him that he needs to stay at Liverpool and also to, to show that the club really values him. And of course the irony is that uh, like 18 months ago it was Trent and Jordan Henderson trying to convince Bellingham to sign for Liverpool and in the end he joined Real Madrid and he had an amazing season winning the Champions League La Liga and getting to the final of the Euros with England. Of course Trent Oxlade-Arnold was always very vocal on how pride, proud he is to represent Liverpool and how proud he, proud he is to be vice captain and in one or two years he will be the captain of Liverpool once Virgil van Dijk Leaves. He even expressed this desire in 2018 in an interview with the Times newspaper saying that he wants to be the captain of Liverpool in the future and he would like to spend his career at Liverpool. Hopefully it didn't change his mind yet but let me know where do you stand on this situation. Do you want Liverpool to do absolutely everything in their powers to give Trent a new contract and to extend his contract and I think Liverpool should do absolutely everything because losing Trent would be even worse than losing Salah or Van Dijk because Trent is the face of Liverpool now he's the future of Liverpool and the present of Liverpool it would send all kinds of wrong messages to his teammates and to uh, potential transfer targets as well that Liverpool have no ambition so Trent Oxano said in 2018 there is nowhere else I would rather be than Liverpool somewhere I want to stay for the rest of my career is Liverpool it's what I've always dreamed of Liverpool are special it's completely down to the fans whether we are winning or losing we always have their love I want to become captain one day that's definitely a dream of mine I hope with dedication the right advice and hard work that still needs to be put in that one day 
day I might achieve that dream of becoming Liverpool captain, something that me and my family will be very proud of if it comes. But uh, yes, he loves the Liverpool fans. The Liverpool fans will support him no matter what. But he must grow tired of the constant scapegoating that every time he plays for England and England don't play well or lose, it's Trent Oxano's fault. And it absolutely makes my blood boil that Kyle Walker who is absolutely a liability, he's awful defensively, much worse defensively than Trent Alexander-Arnold actually. He's loaded by the English media, Kai Walker, and uh, Gareth Southgate played him ahead of Trent, and it makes my blood boil, because Kyle Walker was at fault for two of the Spain goals. He was one of the main reasons why England lost the European Championship final. And yet you didn't see headlines uh, with Kyle Walker plastered all across the news outlets, saying that he's offer he make made in England lose the, the final. If it was Trent, that would be a hitch witch hunt against Trent Oxo-Arnold. And according to Fabrizio Mano, Bellingham is openly working on convincing Trent Oxo-Arnold to join Real Madrid. Fabrizio Mano said that uh, Real Madrid are keeping a close eye on Trent Oxo-Arnold's contract situation. Florentino Perez and Real Madrid are in the knowledge that his contract expires in 2025. And Bellingham is also ready to do his part to convince Trent to join Real Madrid. They are really good friends and they, are, they have a close bond, so hopefully Trent uh, will not be convinced by Bellingham to join Real Madrid. And if he doesn't sign a new contract, then it's a very tricky situation for Liverpool, because then we might have to sell him in January to even get a fraction of his value back, but that, that would be an absolute disaster and an absolute nightmare if uh, Liverpool lost Trent on a free transfer to Real Madrid. But it's still unlikely that Trent would all want to leave Liverpool. Unless Liverpool push him out of the door, unless they offer him a contract that doesn't value him enough, and of, unless they offer him a contract that really is disrespectful to Trent. I don't see Trent ever leaving Liverpool. He is kind of a Steven Gerrard of this generation in that uh, he's a boyhood Liverpool fan, his whole family supports Liverpool, so he would never want to openly leave Liverpool in my opinion. But Trent also said in an interview that he's looking forward to build on last season and uh, to improve on Liverpool's form and uh, Liverpool's finish in the table. But Anneslot really needs to hit the ground running, otherwise these uh, rumors will keep swirling around the Liverpool stars. The problem is that Real Madrid have built such an attractive super team that even Trent Alexander-Arnold, I think, would love to play for Real Madrid. He would love to play with the likes of Kylian Mbappe, Vinicius Junior, Jude Bellingham, Hendrik, Rodrigo, Valverde, Camavinga, Chuomeni, Militao, Courtois, like the list is so so big. The big question is how will Arneslot use Trent Oxfanod in his tactical system? And uh, there is a Dutch expert, Kevin Lux, who provided a detailed breakdown on how Arne Slot might use Trent Oxfanod. Slot is known for admiring managers like Guardiola, Barcelo Bielsa, Roberto De Zerbi, trying to implement such a playing style at his teams as well. He wants his defenders to play short passes to the two sixes in the midfield, the two defensive or holding midfielders, that they were Mats Vifer and Quinten Timber in the Feyenoord setup. And they are like not out and out defensive midfielders, they are more like box-to-box -box midfielders who, they, uh, who then try to find room at the wings. The fullbacks are therefore crucial to Arne Slot's playing style. They have to run up and down the pitch, being involved in attacks as well as defense. Gertrudia played mainly as the right back last season, while Hartmann was the first choice on the left side until his season ending injury. Hartmann was more suited for the job than Gertrudia was, so I found it hard to compare the situation to Trenox Arnold. Maybe he's about to move to one of the defensive midfield positions in Arne Slot's tactics, or will he be able to run up and down the pitch. Trenox Arnold is arguably the best attacking right back in the world and Arne Slot is likely to tailor his demands around, Arne Slot, uh, around Trent's skill set but Liverpool need to tie down the, the future captain Trent on a new deal sooner rather than later. And the, the situation is a little bit different with Trent in Trent's case to Steven Gerrard because Steven Gerrard wanted to win the league title, wanted to win the Premier League with Liverpool so much that he was willing to 
stay basically for his whole career at Liverpool, attempting to win their first Premier League title in so many years. The big question, the big difference, Trent Alexander-Arnold has already won everything at Liverpool. He has already completed the set. He has won eight trophies with Jurgen Klopp at Liverpool. There is not that added motivation that Steven Gerrard had of winning the first Premier League title with Liverpool. So in theory, Trent Alexander-Arnold could say, could say, I have done everything at Liverpool. I want to try a new challenge, but because Trent Alexander-Arnold is a boyhood Liverpool fan and his whole family supports Liverpool, I'm sure that it's the last resort. It's the worst case scenario if Trent wants to leave Liverpool. The independent newspaper's uh, journalist Miguel Delaney said, "Trent Alexander-Arnold is basically th thinking about seeing how Liverpool go on and get on for a season, but Real Madrid is increasingly tempting Trent. While the player doesn't have a year to think about the direction Liverpool is heading in, by January he could." Could agree a free transfer to Real Madrid and that will be a big worry for Liverpool. That's why Liverpool absolutely have to show Trent and the whole Premier League and everybody that they are still a force to be reckoned with. That's why the first half of the season is very important and that's why showing ambition in the transfer market is very important. So hopefully Liverpool can get Ederson in from Atalanta or somebody else because Man United already showing big ambition, splashing the cash. They already signed Zergze from Bologna, Lenny Euro from Lille and they are in talks with Manuel Ugarte to sign him from Paris Saint-Germain. Of course, Man United are in a much worse situation than Liverpool, but Liverpool need to sign some players to show the current Liverpool players that we have ambition and we want to go better than last season. We want to improve the squad. And hopefully in August, Liverpool will start making some deals happening. But there has been a positive update as well, because Ben Jacobs, who is a UK-based journalist, has provided some relief for Liverpool fans. He said that Trent Alexander-Arnold will hold talks with Arneslot as soon as he gets back into pre-season training. The Liverpool manager has already decided on where Trent will play. And he wants to make him part of the player's leadership team, which will help with any new deal discussions, any new contract talks. Arneslot is expected to share more details about Trent Alexander-Arnold's role after they have spoken face to face but he has remained coy for now. Liverpool are calm despite Real Madrid's interest. They are not planning for a Trent Alexander-Arnold exit and Real are not actively working on a transfer at this stage and that's very good but Real Madrid don't need to actively work on a transfer because they know un unless Trent Alexander-Arnold signs a new contract they basically have a free run at Trent if they offer a contract, a pre-contract agreement in January. I don't think anybody else uh, would come close to the track effectiveness of Real Madrid and what Liverpool need to do is uh, like Arneslot needs to sit down with Trent, give him a clear pan, tell him that you will be Liverpool captain in one or two years as soon as Van van Dijk leaves or if Van Dijk is not playing you are already Liverpool captain and Liverpool need to show ambition and they need to sign some players and give Trent a big big contract. A Liverpool fan Clearan on Twitter said that Trent Alexander-Arnold should get a 250 thousand pounds per week contract at least and we need to convince him of the Liverpool project that Liverpool is the club that is still going to challenge for trophies and titles and we need to show ambition in the transfer market to show the players that we want to win trophies. Trent Alexander is the face of the club. He's a local boy and uh, that changed the academy after 10 or 15 years where the U Liverpool Youth Academy didn't really produce players. And now we have a long, long list of world-class players coming through from the Liverpool Youth Academy or potential world-class players. Trent is already world-class and he's generational. He's the game winner. He's the absolutely most creative player at Liverpool. Liverpool with the best passing abilities and it's understandable that Trent's head might be turned given the lack of current ambition at Liverpool shown in the transfer market because of the transitional period, because of Arne Slot and because of the Euros and the Copa America, Liverpool have been slow in the transfer market. Maybe he wants more guarantees that Liverpool will be a club that is capable of winning titles and trophies before he renews his contracts. If he wants to leave, hopefully he has the decency to renew his contract, but insert a realistic release clause of like 60, 70, 80 million pounds or 100 million pounds, something like that. But Trent Alexander-Arnold leaving Liverpool would be an absolutely unmitigated disaster. To replace his creativity, his numbers, his assists is nigh on impossible. 
And I really hope that Trent Alexander-Arnold, Virgil van Dijk and Mo Salah all renew their contracts. And uh, of course, uh, we need other players to renew their contracts. Uh, Konate being one, Robertson as well. We don't want to, the, to lose these players on uh, very low transfer fees or for nothing in a year's time. And or if uh, somebody tells Liverpool, I don't want to stay, then just sell him now and get as much money as possible for it, for them. But yeah, there needs to be hard conversations. The transfer window is still open for almost one and a half months, six weeks. So there is no reason to panic. The situation is not ideal, let me say it like that. And I hope that Liverpool will start making moves both in the transfer market and in the contract negotiations. Thanks for watching guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, have a nice day, see you later, goodbye!